Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about present perfect or past simple. First of all, let's have a look at how to form the present perfect. First, in the affirmative, we use the subject followed by to have followed by the past participle. Second, in the negative, we use the subject followed by to have plus not followed by the past participle. In the interrogative, we use to have followed by the subject and past participle. In the negative interrogative, however, we use to have plus not followed by the subject and the past participle. Now, let's take a look at how and when to use the present perfect. The first case is when we think a situation has not ended. For example, they have lived here for years. She has worked in, a, in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for ten years. From these three examples, we can see that the action or the situation is still going. In the first example, they have lived here for years. It means that they were living in the same place for this many years. The second situation is with time expressions for a period up to now. We mainly use lately and so far. We haven't seen her lately. She has been to the cinema twice so far. The third situation is when we are talking about actions up to the present, which might happen again. He has won two rewards and I hope he will win again. I have played the guitar ever since I was a teenager. When we take a closer look at the meaning of both sentences, we can see that in the first example, he has won two rewards, and he is expected to win another one. In the second example, he, I have played the guitar ever since I was a teenager, and I'm still doing that. So the actions are still going on until this time. The fourth situation is in closes beginning with after, as soon as, and when, and for completed actions in the future. When we finish the material, we'll have the exam. As soon as we go home, we'll do our homework. Now, let's take a look at how to form the past simple. In the affirmative, we use the subject followed by verb plus ed. In the negative, we use the subject followed by did plus not plus infinitive without to. In the interrogative, we use did followed by the subject followed by the infinitive without to. In the negative interrogative, we use did not plus the subject followed by the infinitive without to. Now, let's look at when do we use the past simple. First situation is when we think a situation ended. They lived here for years. She worked in the bank for five years. We had the car for five years. Throughout these three examples, we can see that the situation or the action has already ended. In the first one, they lived here for years means that they used to live here, but now they don't. So the situation has ended. The second situation is with time expressions for a period that ended earlier. He failed two tests last course. I played the guitar when I was a teenager. In these two examples, we can see that last course and when I was a teenager worth, both works as a time expressions. So we have to use the best simple. The third situation is with actions which we don't think will happen again. He failed two tests last course. I played the guitar when I was a teenager. Here we can see, we can expect that since he failed two tests last course, that he won't, fa won't fail the third time. So we think the situation will not happen again. That's why we used the past simple. Same with the second example. I played the guitar when I was a teenager. 
which means that I stopped playing. The fourth situation is with completed actions in the past. When he finished, we had the exam. As soon as we went home, we did our homework. In conclusion, remember that you must always use the present perfect when the time of an action is not important or not specified. You must always use the simple past when details about the time or the place that an action occurred are given or requested. This presentation was prepared and voiced by Hussein Hadi. Thank you for your time.